Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we're going to be making Triton, which is Neptune's largest moon, bigger than Neptune. So I did have some comments to do this on the previous episodes when I made like Ganymede larger than Jupiter and then like the moon larger than Earth and then Pho oh no it was Deimos larger than Mars. So pretty cool stuff but first of all guys, we did it. 500 subs, can't thank all of you enough, it is much much appreciated. I, I saw all the comments and I'm like, wow. You guys are awesome, pretty much. So, yeah, many, many thanks to all that, guys. And also, I got this really, really amazing idea. Um, it was a few days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And it was a um, commenter saying, so you can save and reopen the creation. So simulations, he basically means um, when you hit press the save button here and then you open custom ones right here. So basically, you make any simulation and keep it. So the comment then said... So what you should do is make a solar system based on suggestions from the community and it can be a solar system you start your videos in because, yeah, and he's basically saying we always start in the solar system. So I, I saw this, I thought this is quite a good idea. So instead of starting in the solar system, we could start in our own custom system. So quick example before we get into this video. So so we could have a, um, a random star like this and then we could have tons and tons of like unique objects. So I've got like, I've got literally hundreds here. Well, not hundreds, but yeah, I've got quite a lot. So I've got my um, loads of exoplanets here I use. Oh, it's wow, it's really taken its time to load all these bad boys in. But yeah, if you um, remember in a few episodes back, I made the. Um, this is an old episode, actually, this object here. Where is it? It is. Yeah, this one here, all moons. So a few episodes back where I combined all the moons, I saved the object where we had every single moon in the solar system combined, and then it gave us this. So I have that all permanently saved now. So. Good stuff. So what the comments basically saying is we c we should make a solar system. All of you guys in the comments recommend me objects I should add in. Like all objects I make in different episodes, we could add them all into different um, or into the simulation which you start off in the start of the video. So I've got this planet called Gallifrey here. So if you if you um, are English and you know about the TV show called Doctor Who, then you'll know what Gallifrey is. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I've also got um, what else we got here? Why is this one called Solar System? I guess that's where I probably combined all the objects together. I can't even remember where I got this from. And I've got like the largest black hole here. I know it's a blacked out star. It's just a glitch that happened in the game. I've got some of these other objects here. There's, yeah, there's basically a lot, a lot of stuff here, which could be used. Now remember, Big Rock. I used this um, object like way back in a really old video. And this, this is literally the largest rocky planet the game can support. So if we look at this rocky planet, it is larger than Proxima Centauri. So, like, this rocky planet is huge. It would never happen in real life to have a pro a, or a planet this large. But, yeah, that's that. So, I'm going to be doing my 500 subscriber special in a few um, days, guys. So, give me some recommendations for our custom solar system, which I can start off um, in the 500 subscriber special. Like, say, like, a bunch of objects I could add in. Like, say, like, combine all the planets together, all the moons. I've already done that make a giant rocky planet which I've sort of done I can make it tons and tons of different stars I can make a really really crazy bizarre system like you tell me guys because um, the comments it did say let the community decide so yeah there's a lot of a lot of good stuff here so basically what objects should I add into this custom solar system here I, I won't save this one but yeah any solar system we make in the future in the 500 subscriber special Maybe I could do it. Or I could live stream. Should I live stream episode or oh, the uh, subscribe? Fuck, blah, blah, blah. Should I live stream the um, 500 subscriber special? So I could do a QA. I could. We could make this custom simulation together almost. So it's not just me reading your comments. We can actually do it live. Because I think that would be pretty interesting. And, and then also I could do a QA or something like that. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And also, guys, um, if we're doing it live, I'll probably need some ideas because. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really the best at thinking of ideas all the time, but yeah, I guess I'm okay at thinking of ideas, I guess. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes not. But anyways, let's get into this video. So let's quickly open up a new simulation. Actually, no, we want to go to the solar system. So let's go into this one here, my custom one. All right, so we want to go to Neptune today, and then we are going to want to hit play. Let's slow down time a bit. Then we're going to add the moon so we can get Triton in here. So let's add the moons like that. And where is Triton at? Triton? Where are you? Is it here? Where is it? Add moons to planet. Wait, are they being added? Where, where are they? Okay, game. Please work. Okay, we'll load up a new, completely new um, solar system here. Alright, not that one. Pressing the wrong buttons. Alright. So we want to go, just go for the good old regular solar system simulation. So let's 
Scroll, scroll up, please. All right, there we go. So let's go in here. Let's delete all those asteroids. We don't want them making the game slow. All right, now, this should work. So we pause, and we press add moon. So they should be here now. Yeah, here we go. So here's Triton. So if you didn't know, this moon is about the size of Pluto. So not too large, not too small. It's slightly smaller than Jupiter's moon Europa. So on a quick comparison here. There it is compared to Europa. There it is compared to our moon. And here it is compared to Pluto. So, yeah, it's not really that small. And here it is um, with Neptune here. So if you didn't know, this object actually goes around Neptune backwards, I believe. So it's very, very peculiar. So as you can see, it's going this way around. So it's going clockwise. But all of the normal moons are going anti-clockwise. So yeah, this moon is a very, very bizarre mystery of the Neptune system. So pretty interesting. And I do not like that colour scheme. It should be more of a um, white sort of colour like that. I think that looks a little better. And then a bit of grey in there, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. I think that looks good. So yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. So got a cool looking Triton. Now what we want to do is we're going to do what we usually do in all of these episodes. So we're going to start doubling the size of Triton up and making it larger than Neptune itself because that'll be pretty interesting. So it's about 1300. So if we double that, it'll be about, um, let's turn this off as well. So we'll double that. So it'll be 2600 like this. So there we are. So I don't think much will happen here, but we'll keep an eye on everything. So yeah, it's not really looking that much bigger, but it's probably a lot larger than our moon now, actually, I want to say. Yeah, it's a lot larger. How about Ganymede? Looks like it's larger than Ganymede, I want to say. Oh, no, Ganymede is still slightly larger, it looks like, if we look here. Ganymede is 31 kilometers larger in radius, so, yeah, really, that's not too much. So, yeah, this could be classed as a planet if it was out by itself um, in the solar system, so... Pretty cool stuff, and I actually originally think it was a dwarf planet that got captured by Neptune, that's why it's got such a strange orbit, because Neptune probably doesn't have too many natural moons, since most of these moons here are all asteroids, so they could have just been caught from the Kuiper belt, so that's out here, in the, the asteroid area out here. So Neptune may not have too many natural moons, then we've got all these bizarre ones out here, these probably didn't form around Neptune either, so... In theory, Neptune may not have actually any moons um, that formed around it. It probably captured all of them, so pretty interesting. If anyone knows more about that, please tell me, because that would be interesting to know. So, nothing looks like it's happening here, as per usual. So, let's double it up to about 5200, so I think that's double that. So, there we are. So, now we've got an object which is larger than Mars, I want to say. How about Earth? Sm still smaller than Earth, but we've got larger than Mars. So, this thing is pretty large now. And we'll have a little peek from Neptune. Let's um, turn off all the orbits so we can see it. So yeah, Net Triton is getting bigger, but not too big, so... Looking good. Alright, interesting. Alright, so, let's do this again. And let's put it up to 10,400 now, so... Like this, and there we go, so... This is about half the size of Neptune now, because if you look, Neptune's about... Yeah, 24,000, this is about 10,000, so almost halfway, which is... Pretty cool, I guess. So, there we are. And if you didn't know, Neptune's actually my favourite planet, so... Yeah, if you didn't know, <laughs> why would you care? But, yeah, I'll say it anyway. So, there we are. So, now let's speed this up and see my poor old Neptune. Probably going to get destroyed eventually when we make Triton too big. So, it has its orbit changed. No, the orbit still looks the same as it was before. Okay. Alright, so this is where it gets interesting. So, we're going to double it up again. So, 2160, I think, is double. So, like that. I'm going to hit enter, and its orbit has shrunk, because it's literally the size of Neptune now. Neptune's only about 3,000 kilometers larger, so if you want to view from Triton here, so I'm turn off the orbits as well and have a little look around. There is good old Neptune right there. It's a pretty cool view, actually. That'd be very... I'd love to see that in the night sky. It'd be so cool if Neptune was our own moon. It just looks so nice. I, lo I just love the color of it, because blue is one of my favorite colors, I'd have to say, but... That does look nice. So why does the surface keep on like disappearing? That's kind of annoying. But yeah, there you go. That's it from a sky view. So there we are. And then if you want to see Triton from Neptune. Yeah. Triton is looking pretty big now. So I oh, can't see it here. Dang it. All right. So it's, um, let's land about here on the top of upper cloud layer and look around. Yeah. That moon is pretty big. Look at that. It's huge. All right. So we don't want to get too close to Neptune, remember. So we want to keep it far away. Oh, it's its own planet now. It's not even orbiting Neptune anymore, is it? Well, it looks like it is. Yeah, it's, it's struggling to hang on. It's messing up those other moons a little bit as well. All right, now this is where it starts getting interesting. So let's pull it up to 40,000 now. So yeah, that's pretty much double. And now it is larger than Neptune. So 
Looks like Neptune is on the collision course with Triton. So what we want to do is we want to make Neptune orbit Triton like this. We don't care about these other moons. So they can just crash into Neptune as we see there. Oh, Neptune's been heated up by the Rouge limit it looks like as well. Okay. Alright, so Triton now. Oh my god, that's amazing. So. Looking good. <laughs> hey, almost like forgot what I was saying there. Alright. So. Anything going to happen here? So it's, um, all right, so let's speed this up. Okay, we're looking good. Nothing's really happening here. So because they're getting so close to each other, the tidal forces are warming both objects up. So never had this in a previous episode. I'm surprised we haven't actually. It looks like Triton was just the perfect distance from Neptune to make this happen. So both objects are warming each other up as they get closer because their tidal forces are rubbing on each other, which makes them generate heat. So the whole object here is um, warming up. See, as Neptune gets closer, its temperature should rise. Is it going to rise? Please? Is it going to rise? Well, it's staying above... Yeah, see, look, it's staying above about 300 degrees and warming up every time it goes round. So, pretty cool stuff. And then Triton itself is above you know, about 700. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff there. All right, so let's do it again. Let's put it up to 80,000 now. So, this is where stuff gets real interesting. So... Let's make Neptune orbit again because we don't want it colliding. All right, so now let's hit play. And eventually, it's going to get so close to Neptune, Neptune will get torn up by Triton. So if we look from Neptune now, so let's um, land near the north here. Look at all that orange there, water of it warming up. So if we look on the horizon here, look how large this bad boy is. That's crazy. And it's glowing as well. So because it's hot and it's glowing, it'd probably light up the dark side of Neptune. So Neptune will pretty much probably be in daylight all the time. So cool. Alright, anything else? Okay, this is basically the set, it's setting for the day. So the Triton set, I guess, I don't know what to call it. You get Sunset, Triton set maybe, I don't know. Alright, so the Triton is now gone. So let's get a view of Neptune from the giant Triton now. So, oh, it looks like something hit it there. I think one of those other moons did. Alright, so, looking pretty hot here. Alright, so, where's good old Neptune? Wait, right, Neptune? Where, where's, where's Neptune gone? Where, where, where is it? Alright. So let's um let's land here. This could be a little more convenient. All right, so let's go on the surface and look up. There it is. There's that pretty new planet. I love that color. The orange does make it look a little weird, but yeah, there we are. So there's Neptune setting on Triton now. So there we go. So let's um go out of here again like that. Um, yeah, poor old Neptune's just a tiny little planet now. So this thing is now at eighty thousand. So if we want a quick comparison here, it's larger than Jupiter right now. So yeah. This is going to cause some, or well, it's going to terrorise this area of the solar system a bit. So, anything going to happen? So, let's speed up time a lot more, see if anything does happen. So, oh, Neptune is heating up a lot more. How hot is it now? 3,000, I want to say? Oh, no, only 1,000, okay. I thought that'd be 3,000, it looks quite warm. So, yeah, Neptune is roasting hot right now. So, this is where it gets big. Alright, so 80, that, double that, 160,000, like this. Oh, it made it a gas giant, because it got so large, wow. Okay, so let's make Neptune to orbit Triton again. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do, guys. It does need, It's not even made of hydrogen, as you can see there, but it's still a gas giant. It's just a, one, once an um, object gets to a certain size, it automatically becomes a gas giant, so cool. Because it's basically a brown dwarf now, I think, so if we hit play, that's going to warm up a lot. It should probably warm up to about 2,000, I want to say, if it even does get warm up. Oh, Neptune, this is the end. Triton is now so large that Neptune is being shredded apart. Oh, and it's gone. Vaporized. That's it. Neptune literally got vaporized in minutes, as you can see here. We're traveling about 17 uh, minutes a second, and we only played the simulation for about five seconds before it was completely gone. So Neptune has been reduced to absolutely nothing. That's it. Neptune's gone. It's only 100 kilometers now, so if we speed it up, this should make a ring system around the new Triton. And Triton's cooling down now, okay. So, um, there we go. And just to um, keep this object safe, we'll call it Mega Triton. Let's, call it, let's put it in capitals like that, I don't know, Mega Triton. And then if you guys want, like I said at the start of the video, now we're going to start like our own custom simulation which we can use in videos. Let's save this and maybe if you guys want me to use it, I'll use it. So, there we go. So I've just got tons of custom objects here, so what should I add in? Like like I said earlier, I've got the Trappist-1 star, I've got Gallifrey from Doctor Who there. I've got loads of just other objects here, like old ones, the custom Mimus there. I have Miranda, that's the moon of Uranus. 
Uranus, apologies. <laughs> Damn, why did I say that wrong? Alright. So. We also got the observable universe. Don't ask me to use that, it's too big. <laughs> It'll just destroy everything. So, where is it? Yeah, so. Yeah, I've just got loads of these objects here. Remember this Pascal planet? I made that way back in an old video. Could bring that back. Got this planet called Juliana. I made it um, for someone, like, way back as well before I started making videos. Yeah. You tell me, guys. What, which ones of these should I add in? I can add in the All Moons again from previous episode, or last episode, I think it was. Oh, no, no, not last. The one before that. Yeah. We've just got tons of objects here, so... Yeah, if you, whatever you want me to add in, I'll add it in. We'll do it in the, like, possible live stream, so... Pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you guys are all looking forward to that. But should I do a live stream, guys? Tell me. Because maybe I can do it in the next few days. It's up to you guys, honestly. So, yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. It'll probably go on for about an hour to two hours. So, yeah, if you're there, sit tight and enjoy, I guess. So, yeah, enough of that. Enough, enough of me advertising myself, I guess. Let's get into the rest of this. So, Neptune is now just nothing. It's just a tiny little rock orbiting this humongous planet now because it's obviously it's a planet because it's just so huge so what's left of neptune here so still made of hydrogen well it's got all of its elements it's just a lot smaller okay interesting all right so there we go and obviously that debris from neptune probably would have gave it rings so let's add some rings let's try saturn's rings maybe oh they're not big enough all right so let's do um let's add those rings you can't really see them but if you want to get a view let's put it on flashlight there we go so pretty or just to do studio, I think that looks a little better. So there we are. So the debris it was destroyed for Neptune would have made rings probably. So there we are, looking good, I guess. So now we can we can see what effect it has on the solar system, but we won't play it for too long because that's not really the goal of this video. It's basically what if Nept or Triton is larger than Neptune, not what if Triton took over the solar system. So we can speed this up, have a little look. We'll move those rings to speed things up as well. So is anything gonna happen here or is this game not gonna run? Because Running at more a few months a second can get make the game so let's delete all these um moons here so we don't need them. Wait, did I accidentally delete Triton? Oh no, I didn't. Alright. Okay, so it's really messing up the outer solar system it looks like here. <laughs> I just had a comment on my old video pop up on my phone here. Who hates the audio cracks? Yeah. See back in the day when I first started making videos, the audio was just horrible. So sorry if anyone had to suffer from that, because probably not the not fun, but yeah, the old videos are definitely not <laughs> the best ones to watch. Oh, it was on the Pistol Star when we added it to the solar system, so a very, very luminous star. Alright, anyways, let's um, keep this up here. Yeah, if you guys comment, I'll pretty much see it straight away, because it does pop up on my phone. So, if you want my attention, there you go. Alright, so Triton coming at its closest point to the sun here, so... Looking very bizarre, these orbits now. It looks like it's in a binary orbit with the sun, actually, okay. So let's um, speed up any more and see if anything else happens. So, no, it looks like Triton doesn't affect the planets too much. Okay, cool. So if this ever did happen in real life, us people on Earth would be absolutely fine, according to this. Yeah, 13 degrees average is fine. Nothing wrong with Earth, it's all good. So, yeah, we're good. Earth survived. <laughs> nice. Alright, so um, that will do it for this video, guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and make sure if you do, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Help us on our journey to 600 subscribers now, because that would be awesome. And then, if you've got any ideas, like I said at the start of the video, about making a custom solar system for our like YouTube channel almost, like, what should I call the system as well? Like, yeah, what would I call the simulation? So tell me that. We'll probably start it off in the live stream for the 500 sub special, because that would be cool. And also, guys, if you've got any questions for me, leave a comment down below. I'll probably do it in the 500 subs special at some point as well. So, pretty good. And also, should I do the live stream? It's all up to you guys. So, yeah, enough of me uh, rambling on about that now. So, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.